This is the H calorie diesel heater, and as you can see, it's about the size of a suitcase, so you don't need to be intimidated, but you can use this to heat your RV, your SUV, or your piece of Subaru wagon. So let's get over to the car, and I'll show you how it works. Well, come on, you've got to come too. As you'll be able to see, with the seats laid flat, there is plenty of room in here to put in some kind of mattress. You could probably sleep too, and still have room for a little suitcase-style diesel heater. So let's hook it up and see how fast it'll warm up the old legacy. Set up on the H calorie diesel heater probably took about 30 minutes. There's some really good tutorials on YouTube that go in depth, but basically you get this flexible exhaust pipe that you need to route outside of the car. You have an air intake for the burner. There's the air intake to warm the air, and you have this flexible hose. Uh, yeah, that, that puts out the heat. You got a little tank on the back for your diesel or kerosene. And inside, if you need to service anything like the fuel filter, it's all accessible right there. So for a permanent installation, you could, for example, find somewhere in the vehicle to set it so that you can still access the fuel tank, have the exhaust routed out of a hole, and just make sure that this is routed somewhere to the interior. For testing, I'm going to hook it up in what I'd call like an overnight setup. So I'm going to set it outside of the car with an auxiliary battery, which you'd probably want if you're going to be running heaters and stuff inside of your sweet wagon. And I'm going to feed the hot air inside just like that. This pipe can extend, and we'll see how warm the car gets. And the H-calorie heater comes with a nifty little remote. So if you have it outside of the car or wherever you are in the car, you don't even need to get out to adjust the temperature and fan speed. To get the heater started, you'll just need to plug in power, hook it up properly to a battery, and hit the power button. Start heating. The first time you start the heater, you will need to allow kerosene to be pulled all the way into the burner. That'll take a few moments, and then you will want to be in a well-ventilated space to allow some smoke to burn off. But after the initial startup, it should run pretty clean, and you should have some nice heat coming out. As you can see here on the thermal camera, this thing is putting out some nice warm air, and you can see how quickly it heats up everything around it. Choo-choo right along here now, and this just gave me an idea. Next time I'm outside working in the winter, I might just have this thing pointed right at me. But now that we got the heat going again, let's see how it does warming up the legacy. According to this, it's about 60 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And according to my thermal camera, it's about the same in the car. I'm actually starting to see my breath now. So I'm going to get this rigged up in the back of the car, and then we'll come back in 10 minutes and see how warm it is in there. Obviously, if this was a more permanent setup, you'd do something fancier than this. But please do lots of research before you attempt to convert your ancient wagon into a van life RV thing. 10 minutes later, let's see how we did. And keep in mind, you would normally have this all sealed up, but I just wanted to see how we go. I'll tell you what, it's definitely a lot warmer in here. Let's check the thermal camera. So basically readings all the way from 65 F up to like 85 or even a little higher F. Depends on where you look relative to where the air was pointing. But obviously if you had the trunk better sealed up, you'd be pretty warm and toasty in here at at least 75 degrees, I'd say. And that's just in 10 minutes. So without the draft, I think you can say that this thing would keep you nice and cozy on a lonely cold night. The heater has a bunch of features I didn't even talk about, like a gas gauge, timers, a Bluetooth app so you can control it from your phone, and more, so definitely go check it out. Otherwise, thanks for 